I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Taraji P. Henson's brutally honest and emotional explanation yeah, so it's more to the video, but she's saying that, um, cause she, but she making millions and shit. But though. think about it. Didn't Monique say the same shit a few years yeah, okay, ago? Let, let's finish the let's Of finish Hollywood's it. pay disparity is going viral. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm. The math ain't mathing. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm. fact that we're up, is a whole entire team behind yes, us. Yes. They have to get paid. Yeah, so, um. How you feel about that, man? I'm sure you got a nuanced opinion about <laughs> what's going on with Taraji. Me and nobody. And do you un do y'all understand like the premise of why I showed that to y'all? Yeah, because I, I know. She is like she worth like 25 million. 12, mm -hmm. only 12. I I checked it yesterday. 12. Okay. Yeah, yeah her net like, worth like 12 million. Yeah. Um, and I think the most she got paid for a movie is like 500 thousand or something yeah, like that. You're right. Yeah. She was on that um. The Empire show, and then yeah. she got paid almost two hundred thousand an episode for mm -hmm. six seasons or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, was it like eighteen million or some shit like that? But she ma my, she making money, but she's saying that black actresses don't make as much money as like other actors and stuff. You know, she putting like the race component in front of the argument, and like she did that at like a press conference for the movie Color Purple. Um, so it kind of took away, it kind of took the air out of the movie sales. That's why. It because, because everyone's focused on the statement that she made. Yeah. And ain't, ain't nobody really trying to go see Color Purple because they, I guess they feel like they don't want to, they don't want to support the movie that's like not paid, that didn't pay her enough. Cause they, and Oprah, you know who Oprah is? You, yeah. I mean, you didn't know who Taraji was. So I had to ask, but um. <laughs> I mean, I know who she was. I just didn't know her brand name. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just saying, face. I'm just, I'm just checking. <laughs> But she, you know, she was in the original original color purple, mm -hmm. and she like paid like paid for and produced this one. So they like blaming Oprah because, like you said, Monique had came out a while ago and yeah, said Oprah tried to get over on her and like wanted to blackball her after not paying her enough and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't see why it's like. I don't like to see rich people like complain about like money and shit because you could mm -hmm. complain about taxes and shit like that and like half my I might get twelve million for a, for a movie but half that's gone and I got to pay my team and I mean that's business though you know and I think you like in the entertainment business is no set value for you you know you get paid what what these production companies think your worth and on how many asses you can put in a seat. I don't think it's so much a case of like somebody rubbing their hands together in the office. Like, hmm, hmm, I don't want to pay black women this much. And like some black actors are like some of the, like the highest paid actors in the world. Like the rock is black. All right. Uh, he's not a woman, but you know, it's what he brings. Denzel like is black. Sure. Will Smith is black. These are like top 10 actors in the world and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know, before I say too much, you I know you got an opinion on the whole thing. Well, there's two parts to it. That's not the first part. Um, I think also a lot of men do not support that movie. Because when I grew up, I watched the original Color Purple probably 50 times. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. My sisters. Always. I don't know if I watched it. I, no, I watched it. I still got I the VHS. I, I still got it's the VHS at home. Movie. When did yeah. that shit come out? Um, in the 80s. Late okay. 80s. No, I never watched it. Yeah, late eighties. I it know it's out. like an iconic movie. Yeah, and stuff I still like got the VHS that. at home, bro. But was the Damn. was the lesbian story in the old one? Because that's getting a lot of screwed. I don't too think because it was. It's like a lesbian it, story. No, it, it it didn't play out, but it tried to lead up to it, but it didn't happen. It was <laughs> not it was not noticeable. But I watched it at least. Go ahead. I watched it like at least fifty times, so I I, I know verbatim the whole thing. But the new version now, when you watch it. Sandy. Um, it's almost like watching the Barbie movie. They try to demonize the men in the movie. Wait, what movie? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that the that's did, the other part that movie to it. Did very well though. Yeah. What, what movie was it? Barbie. The new Barbie movie. Yeah. Oh. They tried. I saw your Barbie pictures on Instagram. Mine. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> was that like a party uh, or so, was that like the so, premiere? No, that was actually a party. To, to, oh, okay. to the point where they started making TikTok videos that if your boyfriend don't watch the Barbie movie, you should break up with him. I'm like, what? Really? You can take the mic too. You yeah, can, you can the mic. Like, so it's you like, if you want to. so you demonize men for yeah. not watching a movie and men don't demonize women for watch not watching X-Men. Like, yeah. what, are, what are we doing? So this is the other thing where you cannot make a movie for people to watch and then in the movie you demonize men. That's not okay. I mean it was an ultra ultra feminist movie or whatever, but it made over a billion a billion dollars or something like that. Maybe yeah. two billion or something like that. It was like one of the biggest movies of all time. I think it spoke to it was some nostalgia in it because of Barbie or whatever, and like it spoke to like how women feel these days. Mm-hmm. Like that movie, you know what I'm saying? They bosses Hammer. and shit. But the good thing about it, <laughs> but did also, you see the movie? I was hoping you wasn't gonna ask me that question because I haven't seen. Oh, it. you ain't even seen. Wait a minute. So you did a whole Barbie thing on Instagram, but didn't all see these the chicks did though? What type yeah. of shit? Because of TikTok. they all went to the Barbie. It was because of TikTok. Pause, 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 hey, wait, no, I gotta. I gotta ask her over here. I gotta ask her. Did you see the Barbie movie? If I ain't seen it, she ain't Did seen it. Did you see it? <laughs> what type of shit? No, but listen, that was for my like my work actually. My oh, job, okay. they actually had a party. A okay. Slumber party. Okay, my fault. Yeah, so it was Barbie. It was like themed. a slumber party. No, it was a Barbie no. themed party. Oh, yeah, that's that was no, that was normal. Yeah, the yeah. Barbie release, so yeah. it was just like a lot of Barbie themed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So but no one Barbie, really is Barbie more like a white girl thing or something. Like yes, that? Mm-hmm. and the, and then they started to I'm just like. Asking. <laughs> It was. It was originally. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because y- y'all don't seem to have much interest in it, you know? Right. It was originally, but then. They're like, of course I didn't. Know and then it's okay. Let's add some color to it. <laughs> I didn't mean to be offensive. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm thinking about it. I really didn't play with Barbies that much in my childhood. No. I, I knew for my sisters. That's why I said that. But I grew up in a very white household, so. Oh, okay. You are yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, so, but back to <laughs> back to Taraji before we drift off into somewhere else again. They didn't give me a doll. Back to Taraji. Yeah. What do you, do you got an opinion on that? Because before you say yours, I think like and why should like why should I care about how much an actor like makes for a movie? Like you shouldn't. No, I'm not an actor, so that's not. That's like me caring about how much world. The Rock makes. But what but, what but, annoys me so bad is that she said that she wanted more, so then do more, do something different. If you want more, get your ass up. If that's the problem, you know what I mean? So you're capable. But she's saying there are like barriers in the industry for, you know what I'm saying, black then women. Change it. She change can't it. change that if it's so. I feel, like, right, I feel like she's it? already so far at the top. I don't think there's a lot more to change or like things that she can change about it. But at the same time, like, I don't know. If I have to think about, I don't know, the paying that I get, like the check that I get, or worrying about an 18 million check, I w- I'd rather worry about an 18 million check getting split, you know? like Exactly. <laughs> I'd rather split the 18 million check with my team. Exactly. And, and I think, because she, she said she had to, like, fire her team and stuff because they was fucking up, like. And, like, when you're an actor, you have an agent, you have somebody working out these deals for you, and yeah. if they, like, lowballing you then that's on you and your team you know what i'm saying that's the same shit with soccer players basketball players Mm -hmm. so many agents yeah so many different departments where you actually have to depend on your team at the end of the day right Right. they have your best interest and if your team ain't the right team that's that's a whole nother problem yeah but if you but if you track her movie career right what movies she usually plays and, and who she works for she usually plays like the not the main character she usually plays like a and it's mostly supporting black mo- and mostly black movies. Mostly yeah. black right. movies. Right. So yeah. if you're in mostly black movies, the revenue for mostly black movies, you're not gonna get that much. But if you like in say but what's a black movie though? Yeah, obviously. Tommy that uh, is true. Baby that Boy. Is true. Yeah, Baby Boy. Empire. Yeah. All these movies, all the roles. Empire is, was hustle. big though. Well, yeah, she got her biggest hustle check on Empire. Right. Fifty gonna pay. Come on. He gonna pay. I don't know. Fifty did power. I think yeah. I don't know. Pa- yeah, don't fifty know. did. Fifty power. did power. Did he invest, he invest in that? No, he no. Didn't. He, he didn't. was like He's, competing with Empire. Okay, okay. He's yeah. trying to get her to come over yeah. from Empire to Power because he heard about everything. He talked about it. Uh-huh. He's doing the same show with Monique. He literally she said, to "Go over there." Yeah, he got he got Monique now 
into the power series and stuff because he knew what Monique was facing. Oh, okay. So he was just like, hey, I did this for her. I'm going to do this for her as well. Was it Monique? Yeah, it was Monique. Yeah, Monique went on Monique went yeah, on to yeah. a bunch of shows. 50 called her. And, and talked about like, hey, as a black woman, I'm not getting paid. And I remember when Monique had that little uh, comedy show. But people was getting on Monique about that too. They yeah. was like, shut the fuck up. Right. Yeah. Because she rich too. Yeah, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, I don't give a fuck how much they can pay. Hey, they can pay more than me. That's a celebrity's life. I can give a, a good goddamn what they do. But you know what? Hey, she addressed <laughs> she, she she addressed how she felt and stuff right. like that, right? But and she she wants us to advocate for her. Yeah, but and you know, people did like on that side, cool. Yeah. And now Fifty said, "Hey, watch this. I got you. Come on my side." Boom. Yeah. It's just like this. It's now. I think she needs to uh, expand a, po- a portfolio. Yeah. Just don't play in just black movies. Try to divest a little bit. I mean, like some the rock. black movies. Even the rock, some black like, movies make some money, though. Yeah, but <laughs> how often? Wasn't she in, like, Think Like a Man or some shit like uh, that? Black movie. Thanks. Yeah, but that's a black movie, movie. though. It was yeah. a huge black movie, though. Yeah, but. Black movies don't run like that in Germany either. Thank you. Exactly. Right. It needs to be worldwide. That's why you're not going to get paid. In America, largest population besides Africa are black people. I'm going to ask you this. Kevin time. Hart shoot a lot of black movies, but he but has he the white audience. But yeah, but Tommy, I, yeah. I'm gonna ask you this stuff. He has a white audience. How many, how many, I don't think black people really find him funny. I don't really find him. I don't find funny. him funny, but <laughs> he has a white audience. Yeah. But he how many of y'all have watched Friday, though? I know right. I watched Friday. I watched Friday. All of you it. You did. Yeah. Okay. Of course you, I watched you, Friday. All you of know, them. You know the movie, like the series of Friday with yeah. Ice Cube? See, you have to realize. It's not like international, but it's, it's an American cult class. They're not recognized. It's a black people thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It is a black people thing. Right, yeah, right, right. For sure, for sure. <laughs> right. Just like any hood movie that you see, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> right. Don't be a menace to society. Right. These are black movies. I mean, that- those were productions that were done, like, with very little budgets from, like, startup. People was, like, Friday, Ice Cube. That was Ice it's Cube's first, first movie. Yeah. Like, everybody who was, who was in that movie got, like, maybe, if they got 10000 they was lucky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, still to this day, it's still relevant even to like the new generation and shit like that. But you have to have a lot of Has she been in no white movie? She no. was in Benjamin Button. That, was she? Because people was comparing her salary to like Brad Pitt's salary. But it was the movie. hit. But, like, but she was Brad comparing Pitt. herself to Brad Pitt. No. Like, she thinks Hell she's no. a, a just as bigger. No. Just as bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, is she a, gra- is she a great Pitt. actor? Hell yeah. Yeah. But she's, she played that certain role, that strong black, black woman. Uh, yes, yeah, say it. You can say it. I didn't mean it. It didn't get her. It didn't. <laughs> but if you look at other. No, I'm just saying that's who. Like Kevin Hart plays the same guy every time. You know right. what I'm saying? She plays the same character design every time. Right. She also do ha- does have a lot of humorous roles, though. Like, does where she? she's like Where she's like the more not all respected validated person what's what movie is that like one of them dating movies she in i know she yeah. played in one movie where it was like i bet she was treating her husband like shit no she played <laughs> <laughs> she shots fired i want to say hey what? why you not recording that that's how them black movies be <laughs> i want to not make black husbands <laughs> i want to say she played in Did one movie man? where <laughs> it was like they had a whole it was like some drug deal going on and stuff like that and she played Hustle and flow no, it was some movie. I think it was like Smoking Aces or Shoot 'Em Up, and she played as a girl that shot a sniper rifle and was over there. Like, no, she she did recently come out with a, a movie where she starred. It's called something Jane or well, something. Well, is a funny movie. What was it? Well, Man would. But that's still that's a super stereotypical, movie, stereotypical right. black movie, woman movie. movie. Yes. Probably got Morris Chestnut in it and yeah, shit. Yeah, all these guys. Yeah. You know, he in every black movie, movie. looking <laughs> the yeah, same. No, that yeah, nigga she, is a vampire, yeah, man. No, she, she does. That nigga has not aged. She does have a catalog acting. of movies. She played in a yeah. movie called Smoking Aces where she didn't play as like no stereotypical. I like, think she just person. needs to she open up a portfolio. Motherfucker. She needs to go on the other side. I understand she want to stay true to the she culture. She needs to cross over. She needs to cross over. She kind of... He's what, on the verge. Karate Kid. Karate Kid yeah, she played in Kar- yeah, yeah, she was the mom in Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. still. Mm. But, but she was still like, that still was like a kind of supporting role. Yeah. And shit like yeah. That. yeah. Okay. I mean, She's an A-list actor for, movie, for black movies, yes. Will but, Smith's son was in that movie. Yeah. I mean, it's, and you had they Jackie kind of made Chan. it black, though. Yeah. You had Jackie Chan, too, so. Jackie Chan. Yeah. I mean, look at all these uh, other black actors. They cross over and they make a lot more money. I mean, like, look, I mean, Prime example, uh, Rock brought in Kevin Hart and look at um, Tyrese. 
he's playing these movies where he crosses over there. Not just Tyrese by, and Ludacris got lucky though. Yeah. They got lucky and got a role in Fast and Furious mm-hmm. before it got like super. It was yeah, a contract for ten movies. It was no, a contract for ten movies. Ludacris, Ludacris also played because like Ludacris a little, is a horrible actor. Ludacris had a little <laughs> cameo in uh, Dr. Dre's movie uh, Car Wash. She had a little cameo in that, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know. You see him in Bridges, where it's like all these different people going through the same shit. You see him in all the Fast. He was and terrible Furious in that movie, though. Fast terrible. And Furious, I would say the the first two, like two Fast and Furious, was his best acting. After that, it just went straight to shit. Mm. Like he's never had a best acting. Nah, I can't take it. I can take. Ludacris Tyree Chris is a ter- He shows zero emotion. He's the most. He like this. He like LeBron in like Space Jam. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like super monotone. I don't know why they the made same, that movie. Don't know how to like convey emotion in his face. And I stuff ain't watched like that. They should have left it with Jordan. I, did, I didn't. I didn't watch <laughs> Jordan. Jam, Jordan was the same way because back, basketball <laughs> players suck at acting. But it's so. It's so. And so it was do, Jordan. It was so Jordan. Do rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just leave it alone, man. Stay in your stay in your lane. Like yeah. Yeah, but I think Taraji, if she wants, because she was talking about she want to quit acting. And I think, Why? I think she shouldn't quit, but I, I think she should take some of these big checks she getting and maybe make her own like production, production company, company and yeah. shoot her own stuff or pass all the way over. You know what I'm saying? Get get some of that light skin shit from Lil Kim. No, and, uh, no, shots you, fired. You, you seen how <laughs> Lil Kim went out? Fuck no. Lil Kim look crazy as fuck out here, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't even recognize her. Who she, she looks like a goddamn ant. Let's not go too hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 